before I begin this video, everybody, I lied to about this story. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was just the only way to save my life. I'm sorry once again. <laughs> now let's get into this video okay, so i posted on one of my social media platforms where like you guys were supposed to choose which video you want whether you want my first kiss or you want how and why i got suspended from school for a week and majority of you voted for number two so in this video i'm coming to tell you why and how i got suspended from school <laughs> A story that we've never told the truth before today i'm telling you guys the truth the plain truth hiding nothing i'm giving you the honest fact for my counterpart if you're watching this video i could i'm very proud of you guys you especially and also you i'm proud of both of you first of all you know that you don't just like do things without planning so we had to plan you get it okay. if you don't get it forget about it justin's birthday is on the 30th of october and we are in october so it means like three years ago today we were planning what we were going to do on the 30th <laughs> it's crazy i think it was 29th evening to 30th so let me just say 29th okay so Jasmine's birthday was on the 30th. It's on the 30th of October. So we're like, oh, Jasmine, your birthday is on this day. So we've been in school for a very long time. Let's go to town. I don't know who even brought up the idea, but I know certainly it wasn't me because I don't just sit down and bring up such ideas. It will either be Asinam, Rachel. Asinam didn't go with us, no. But then Asinam wanted to go. So we even thought she was happy that they caught us in the end because. She wanted to go and we didn't tell her we were going. You know that thing that's like, mm, let's not tell this girl we are going, let's not tell this girl. And then we didn't tell her and we got caught. So at a point in time, people kept saying, she's even the one who went to snitch. She's even the one who went to snitch. But then I don't think she's the one who snitched. Okay. I don't know who brought the whole idea up, but one person brought the idea up. I don't know if it was Chris Love or Rachel. I just know one person brought the idea up. And then me too i was listening to them so we we're listening and we we're like oh let's all go to town because jasmine's bed is on the 30th let's go and have some fun oh they won't catch us they won't catch us you know that they won't catch us how can they catch us chia, chia. <laughs> so we we're like thinking about it we were deciding how we'll do it how we'll go and all that and then i got a i don't know if it's a call or a message from marvin he was like they are in cape he and some other two boys they were in keep so we should come to town okay so me hearing that marvin is in keep i've not seen him for like so so and so wow let me go okay initially i was like i'm not going to go i'm not going to go you know that thing that is like really you don't want to go you don't want like that kind of thing so i was like okay fine i'm going to go but my heart wasn't inside like i didn't want to go i didn't feel weird about it but then i didn't want to go not because of any reason i just didn't want to go okay. the only reason why i got the vim to go was because we the girls girls we spoke about it that oh it's jasmine's baby do you understand jasmine's baby so let's just go and celebrate jasmine's baby in town that was the main focus so now you know the reason why we plan to go to town okay okay now into the actual story so in the evening we went for prep in case you don't know what prep is prep is the time when you take your books to study in the evening hey that's what them they do for here <laughs> so we went for prep and when prep closed Okay, the main plan was we'll go for prep. When prep is over, we wouldn't leave. We would intentionally walk around, walk around, and stay behind till everybody's, like, out. So everybody's, like, out of the prepping classroom. So that it's just going to be us, and then we can pass in the bush. That was the actual plan. We were supposed to pass in the bush. Beautiful girls like us. 
yeah that's what we choose to do with our life and we always ask god for forgiveness of sins because indeed we did a wrong thing and we have accepted it <laughs> after prep we stayed behind three boys were supposed to assist us since it's over and it has happened we can mention names these three boys they were the ones who were assisting us okay because you know like we are girls we can't really do all that so these three boys were supposed to assist us in the whole process so after um after prep you see the girls and the boys don't prep together the girls prep at the right side and the boys prep at the left side so we the girls we had to stay behind and wait for the boys to close and then when the boys are done they can't come to the girls prepping side they have to go straight to the boy side but these boys had to find a way to come there when prep was over we the girls we stayed behind in the class we were hiding we were somewhere on the floor hiding we stayed there for like an hour and still the boys hadn't come so at that point and we were thinking we we're like ah or oh, they will not come they will not come that's when we started seeing that this is the worst decision we've ever made and they had locked the girl side okay they had locked the girl side so now we had no okay they hadn't locked it but they were about to lock because it it's like all the girls were inside and they didn't think other girls were outside so, so we're still waiting you know, one hour has passed still no boy has come then finally we saw the boys coming and we were so happy we we're like we thought you guys won't come we thought you guys won't come we were so excited to see them because at that point we knew that yes i wish it's about to be fulfilled okay we've seen the boys and the boys were we were working with them to see if relax michelle we were, we were working with them to see if there was like a way for us to pass to get to the bush the downtown when we're going now, we heard some noise, kuchy, 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 and we saw some torchlight flash like this. <laughs> Come and see. Now it's like you need to run, but you don't have to run because if you run and they hear your footsteps, they'll know that people are there. So you have to find a way to get into a washroom without making noise, but you have to run because the torchlight is on the way. <laughs> Come and see our heart. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, we run and we enter some washroom. When we enter the washroom too, they've we on the floor like this, like they've urinated like on the whole floor. That was not even the sad part. Ebini. Ha! They've pooped. Poop is here. Poop is here. Poop is here. But we have to shut up in the poop. Ha! <laughs> Guys, it's not even funny. Huh? Like seriously? Now so them they do for here. Hey! And then you know it's like because we had to race into the washroom, our hearts beat were doing boom 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 boom. So even in the silence, I could still like because the place was quiet, I could actually like hear my heart beating because the place was quiet. And I'm not supposed to hear nobody's supposed to hear my heart beating because the people are coming around. Like the prefects were were checking every classroom to make sure nobody is in the classroom now this is me held my nose because the place was smelling held my mouth so that i don't have to breathe from my mouth and i held my heart so that i'll suppress the sound i don't know if it was even ever gonna make a difference but that's what i did so after the prefect finished checking around they didn't see anybody they went the teachers still hadn't left the podium the teachers were still at the podium we too we are waiting like we are waiting for the teachers to leave so that we can go the teachers weren't leaving and it became like 9 10 and still the teachers hadn't left and then then the boys were like if we say we are waiting for the teachers to leave we might never be able to go to where we are going to do you understand so let's just gi man up and pass if we get caught does it so we knew that if we get caught does it and before we went we told ourselves that if they ever catch us we are not mentioning any of the boys who helped us name so absolutely they really mention any of the boys name and i know that that's why they know that we are the real g's period because we actually got caught but we never mentioned any of the boys names in the whole situation so nobody even knows that they are the ones who took us like they helped us to go but today you know <laughs> there is no secret under this sun lie lie so one boy had to go check 
and he was like we should just man up so we had to change our dresses and dress like boys because you know when you're going for prep you wear the outing i'll try and like be putting videos inside this video so that you understand the story better out here so we had to change and dress like boys put on hoodie wear black black like nobody had to wear like something colored so we had to like force and do all that and all that so one boy went to check the way was a little bit clear and he came to call us so we had to be quiet tip to tip to tip we passed behind the infirmary we went down and at that time Marvin Dems had called us that they had entered the school because they too they were supposed to jump into the school and pick us out do you understand so Marvin and some other boys he called us that they had entered the school so we had to hurry up because as the teachers were looking around if they don't catch us at sb they will catch them at downtown so we had to hurry up and meet them and leave before any teacher reaches that downtown so we got up we were tiptoeing tiptoeing and we finally saw the boys downstairs and now hey we saw them downtown not downstairs now we have to jump some wall the wall was actually long so you know we, we are short girls we are short short so they had to put something there for you to step on it then they'll push you up the wall then you jump down and there's somebody at the other side to support you when you reach work oh work a juma oh yeah this reminds me the birthday girl herself that we were supposed to go with her couldn't go again because when the day reached somebody stole her shorts so now she didn't have anything to wear to go and you know that thing that is like oh you've planned something and now it's not going as planned and your mood is messed up she was like she doesn't want to go again but she doesn't want to spoil our plan we should just go and have fun for her like she's really sorry she couldn't make it and all that but god was actually saving her life god was saving her life we should have followed her but we didn't we've gotten to the phase that you jump over the wall they've helped us to jump over the wall now we are not getting car Hey. we walk them walk them <laughs> we walked we even had to pass in front of our own school like we now we've run away from the school and we've gone to pass in front of the same school we went to pass in front of the teacher's flat because we weren't getting cast we had to walk and then we're walking and we saw that mm, the way things are doing if we don't hurry up and find some way to go they will catch us they will cut oh god they will catch us hey so we had to like find a way to get a car and all that we finally got to where we we're going to we were there it was chris love rachel and i so when we we're there then chris love and rachel were like they are going to somebody's place i think that's his name i don't really remember his name but you don't know him so they were going to him and then i was like i'll go i'll go i'll go and my mom was like i shouldn't go and i was like i'll go marvin say i shouldn't go was also a way of saving our life my life but i didn't listen i followed so when i was in the car and we we're going i was like you guys i don't feel right about this i don't want to go but then they were like oh let's go let's go chris love was like if i don't go she's not going to go and we couldn't also leave rachel to go alone you know it's like the three of us came together so if one person is going we all need to go we can't like go one by one because rachel wanted to go but i didn't want to go and chris love was like she'll only go with rachel if i am going so indirectly i'd have to go so that rachel can go so that rachel can go okay so now the three of us sat in a car we went to ucc and that's where we got caught so when we got to ucc we we're over there the boys were okay it wasn't boys it was like a boy okay boys i don't know them it's rachel who actually knows them i don't know them i never knew him. he was not my friend so yeah so when we got there they were like darling lemon was it, was it darling lemon i don't know some alcoholic drink it's not too much alcoholic but yes i'm alcoholic and the boys were like oh do we know how to smoke do you want to learn how to smoke and all that and i i said no chris lasty said no rachel said no okay all of us said no we, we didn't want to learn how to do it blah 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 we're like oh no they were like we can't drink it okay no we're like we are thirsty and they said they don't have water the only thing they have is some darling lemon i don't know if it's called darling lemon some drink be at that time so we drank it and now we were drunk and then we said we want to go back to where we came from come and see war 
war hmm. we were like we want to go back because we realized that the drink was like taking us so we wanted to go before it takes us before we make a mistake so we wanted to go and then rachel says she's hungry and the boy brought food he brought us food and then we ate and now we're like we want to go we want to go and that whole time chris love kept reminding me michelle you have a boyfriend michelle you have a boyfriend michelle you know that thing that like your friend is reminding you have a boyfriend so that you don't fuck up you don't make a mistake i mean i wasn't going to fuck up but michelle you have a boyfriend michelle you have a boyfriend and i was like i know i know, I know. so now we wanted to leave and we're like the boy should order the ride for us to go ama we were like he should call the person put the phone on loud because we want to make the call ourselves we want to be like extra sure it's a driver because we don't believe him blah 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 okay fast forward the driver came we sat in the car we were going back to where we were with marvin Dems before we decided to go to morgan now when i went back marvin has locked the door and he said i should go back to where i came from he's not going to open the door for me and i was like ah. he should please open the door for me he said no he was angry i was crying that was literally my first time i ever cried in front of marvin like my first time in my whole life i was really crying i was behind the door i was crying i was like he should open me he should open me because number one i'm drunk number two i didn't want to go i, I was just going so that chris love will go for rachel number two number three i didn't do anything when i went there like i did, literally didn't do anything we all didn't do anything number four why am i getting blamed for like something that wasn't even my decision like it wasn't my decision to go actually it was my decision because i could have stayed but if i stayed like rachel to can go so wow i was crying i was really crying I cried to the next day. My eyes were red and my eyes were on fire. And the next day, they sent us to the school. That's it. They were fighting with me. We got to the school on a Sunday. We wore our dress for church service, normal as if nothing had happened. The next week, mm, that was where the danger, danger began. So the next week, Madam Mavis called us to the girl's side when everybody was at Sunday service. And she asked me, where were you friday evening and i was like i was in the girl's side <laughs> then they called chris love and they asked chris love where were you friday evening and then chris love turned the head and looked at my face that's where the trouble began because they asked me and i said i was at the girl's side they asked you where were you friday evening and you are looking at my face what's that supposed to mean like why did you look at me what does that mean do you understand so when she looked at me now then the woman said we already know you were not in the school on Saturday and then this, 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 this. And the sad part of it is they caught us because we went to UCC and one of the teachers in this school goes to UCC. And she was there, so she saw us. And you know, Chris Love is light skinned and Rachel is light skinned. Both of them are fair. So if they would have even caught anybody, it's both of them, not me, because I'm dark. So yeah, they saw them. They didn't even see me. So initially, they didn't even know I was part. Do you understand? They didn't know I was part of those who went to talk. They didn't see me. I'm dark. We've been called. There's nothing else we can say because they literally saw the fair people and showed proof of them seeing the fair people and showed that you guys went to UCC and all that. So now, I don't know what we can say. The only thing we can do is to protect ourselves in the nicest possible way, okay? So they called everybody and everybody said a different story. And then the annoying part is when they called me, I didn't say I passed downtown, okay? We wanted to say it like we didn't jump the wall. We just walked out of the gate. But one person went to say we jumped the wall. So now it became like, so you guys are lying. Why is it that one person is saying I jumped the wall? One person is saying I passed the gate. And another person is saying you passed through whatever. Like we were all saying different things. So they called us to the administration. They gave us a book and we're supposed to write down where we went to, what we did, the time we left and all that. Okay, I sat outside. They made me sit outside. They made Chris Love sit somewhere like left and they made Rachel sit opposite Chris Love. I was the first person to finish writing my essay. And when I finished writing my essay, I tore my paper into two, okay? And then I wrote the same essay on both papers and I folded it and I was going to submit my essay to the senior house mistress so when i got there to submit my essay to the senior house mistress then the other paper i folded i threw it to my friends 
and they were very fast they caught the paper i just wanted them to read what i had written so that we will all write the same thing because if we end up writing different things they will catch us and we're trying to like say the story in a way that we are not lying but we are not saying the truth you understand we are removing important details out of the story but we are not lying that's how i wanted it to look like so i threw the paper to them and one of them caught it very fast and i just gave the woman my paper and i stepped outside so in the end we all read the same thing that was the sweetest part of the story okay so right now we've written the same thing but still they wanted to talk to us one-on-one -on -one so that they can use psychology to beat us okay they've caught us that we went to town disgrace that you see the headmaster assembly talking about it and i'm busy i found a walk or town now in busy <laughs> the sad part of the whole thing is i was going home to ride no dick okay parents were coming to the school that week to come and pick me home so after they had caught us and everything they sent us to the senior house mistress and this woman was shouting at us how can we do that is this our morals nonsense B no she didn't say bitch but she said some word. Or she said bitch. I don't know. She said some word be modern children's weight. And not this. And not that. And not this. And then this woman is really indeed a mother. Because she was like, we should tell her the truth. She will not tell our parents. We should be real with her. We should. Fools. We also told her. We also told her, no, not, not like we told her like the truth, 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 too, but we told her exactly what we said to the other people. But then we told her, she said, since she's a mother, and if it was her child, she wouldn't be happy, she wouldn't tell our parents. But next time, we shouldn't do that again, we should follow the right path in life. Come and see me, I was tearing up, like I was tearing up, like, oh my god, this woman is so good. In all, be what be like in all be lie i was tearing up i was like thank you thank you he wrote a letter to the woman that thank her very much we really appreciate it okay so now i was living in the school with fear my heart was always beating because you'd be walking at the end of the teacher will say ah i know the one that you went to town a teacher will say ah is it not you nice girl like you you went to town for what what did you go to like i was just we we're just walking in the school with fear and straight face because you know if you go and smile smile now those stupid people come and say we already knew you were the bad ones because already they saw me to be a bad girl i mean i'm not a bad girl but that's how they saw me period i didn't smile again and i wasn't talking to people because if i talk to you you get the vim to come and ask me a stupid question which i'm not ready to answer oh so we'll be in class then just my hair We'll be in class then i'll a teacher will come and call me then i'll have to go i have to go and explain myself i have to go like that now the day has finally reached for me to go because i have no deck to write okay my father came to the school and my mom came to the school they were coming to ask for permission and take me out they gave my father and mother a seat they told my father and mother what i had done they showed my own statement what i wrote myself eh they gave it to my father and mother and they made them read every single thing. So me, I was walking, coming from the classroom. And my little sister ran to me. Obi, Obi, did you jump the wall and go to town because they are telling mommy over there? And I said, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know how to behave. I didn't know if I should laugh if i should cry if i should act as if nothing has look i was damn speechless ha <clears throat> what you guys i swear i didn't know how to act too i didn't know how to act so when they finished telling my mother and they saw me coming they changed the topic they didn't talk about it again no. so i entered the car and then my father and mother came into the car later when my mother sat in the car my mother looked at me and she looked forward and my father looked at me and he looked forward and then my mother said, so this is what I came to school to do. This is the reason why they brought me to secondary school. For me to jump wall. Next time I jump wall, snake will bite me. So if snake was supposed to bite me, like how will I explain? If this, if this, if this. And my father was not talking. My father was speechless. He was just quiet. And then he just turned his head and said, I'm disappointed in you. And look forward.
it was that day I knew that I had fucked up because my father has never said I'm disappointed in you before but here he's telling me he's disappointed really okay that's fine <laughs> so I was in the car I was crying like honestly I was crying not because I'd been caught but because of how my parents are going to see me so I wrote a letter to my mother that I promised to make her proud one day. She shouldn't think about this. And I promised to make her proud. So I was really scared. I felt that if I go home, I'm not going to use a phone. I can't go anywhere. They will seize everything from me. I'll I'll be I'll be fucked up. That's what I thought. But then when I got home, everything was like normal. They didn't talk about it again. Everything was chill. Just like if my mom is watching TV and she sees a monkey jumping or something, they should call me that she come and see my twin. They jump monkeys jumping i also went to jump a wall so i'm like the monkey and all that they called our parents too okay no me i was the unlucky one i was the unlucky one because my parents were already coming to pick me so that's how they found out very early but the other people their parents didn't find out then okay so i was then a small time the school called my father that my father has to come to the school okay my father has to come to the school and then I called my friends first and I told them that they just called my father to come to the school, meaning they will call their parents too. So yes, they called their parents and reported them too. And now all of us were at that DC. Okay, the time they called our parents, I was writing on deck, so I didn't go to the school. It's my dad who went alone. But before that, we went to DC. And at that place, I was even getting angry because we said that we didn't drink when they gave us the drink. That was the lie we told the people because we didn't even want to bring drink up inside the conversation but one person did and when she did the thing that even annoyed me was she was like i was drunk or something she said something that really got me angry because if you are trying to say like if you are trying to even say something why are you putting it on me I mean, we all got drunk, and right now we are saying, let's not talk about anybody getting drunk. So why did you remove only me to put the drunk on me? Do you understand? Like, and then the senior house mistresses were like, oh, look at me. I don't even have the capacity. I don't have the capacity to drink, but I want to drink. I was honestly really angry. Like, that day, I was very, very angry. But then I was like, okay, it's just fine. So after all that happened, they called my dad. When my dad came to the school, they were like, I'm a very bad girl. And my father said that. Even if I'm a bad girl, he trained me. So we are bad together. That day, my father stood his ground. He defended me like never before. I mean, it wasn't good, but my dad stood his ground. Like, he defended me. He even defended Rachel too, because they were like, Rachel went to see her boyfriend. And my father said, they shouldn't say that. She went to see her friend. If she is not saying she's having a relationship with a person, they shouldn't impose things on children because you can't just stand up and assume that she has a boyfriend when she hasn't told you she has a boyfriend. So you don't have to. So yeah, that's what happened. And then my father became best friends with the administration. So those who know me know that I was the school's best friend because my father was always in the school, supporting the school, helping the school. He became best friends with them all. So when I came back, they couldn't give them punishment because I was not in the school. You understand? So when I came, couldn't give them punishment because I was not in the school. You understand? So when I came back for my when I came back for my exam, that was when we had to do the punishment. So day one, chronicles of our working schedule. We got suspended for a week, internal suspension. Next week, we had to scrub the dining hall. So first thing in the morning, when everybody's wearing their school uniform, only us will be wearing working dress and we'll walk to the dining hall. We had to scrub the dining hall. That was green. Hey. Look, we did so many. Like, I can't even fix it for you to know which one we did first. But let me just talk about the works we did in general. Scrub the whole dining hall. We had to go and clean the house mistress's house, sweep, clean, pack the stones. It wasn't her house yet. It was now coming to be her house. So they were now like arranging the stuff. We had to do that. We had to go and weed. On the day of the weeding, we got angry with Rachel because we were weeding in the open. Okay. We were weeding by the classroom. So everybody could see us weeding. Rachel said she's shy. She can't weed. And I got angry because if there's anybody who is supposed to be shy, it's supposed to be me. Like, everybody knows me as Michelle. Everybody knows me as Aimichi. Everybody passing this laugh. Yeah, Aimichi, Aimichi. 
So why the fuck are you shy? Because nobody even really knows you as anything. Me that they know me as something. I've J I and I'm weeding. I'm on the floor. I'm holding my. I didn't even hold a cat class because I don't know how to do that cat class thing. So I was holding a, a hole and I was using it to scratch the floor like this. Scratch the floor like this. You are standing there saying you are shy. If you are shy, then what do you expect me to do? Because if you me, I'm not even like. I mean, I'm shy. Obviously, I'm shy. But I'm not acting like I'm shy because whether I'm shy or I'm not shy, I will have to do it. This girl says she's shy. And I dropped my hole. Oh, I said I'm not going to do the work again because I'm not going to do the work for you to stand there. And then we all left. We said we'll not do the work again. Because Chris left to say then she too she won't do. And Rachel said if the two of us won't do, then she too she won't do. Now we are fighting with ourselves. Now we are fighting with ourselves instead of working together as a team to reach our ultimate goal. <laughs> it was fun, you okay the days we were working at the senior house mistress's place was so fun because you know we had a phone in school hey cow you're not supposed to have a phone in school but we had a phone in school and we did a lot of videos during that punishment i still have all the videos i'm going to show you guys the videos it was hell like it was hell we had to go and push the incinerator we had to fetch water like we did so many things and they'll come and inspect if it's not good they say it's not good go and start again go and start hey we suffered when we finished we had become black like everything was so miserable look we told ourselves that it's not that we'll not do it again no but we'll never get caught again we went to sign bond oh god we were so stressed everybody was seeing us like look at these girls look at these girls look at these girls but then the working parts we had like an amazing time i'm going to put the videos here so that you can be watching the videos whilst you're watching the video. Uh, so yeah, when we see the headmaster pass now, then we'll hide ourselves. Oh, the headmaster used to disgrace us. It was really fun, you. But it wasn't all that fun. The headmaster used to disgrace us. Like, oh, he came to us and he said, like, if it was... Get it. If it was... Like, we will not say we are tired. But this small work, we are tired. Can't that's what the headmaster kept saying every time he sees us. He's like, eh, we've gone to ourselves in camp. Now we want to do as if we are pure, we are pure. After we've gone to, after we've gone to, after we've gone to, we are come to do as if we are pure. Can one so, one so, when we're collecting that one day, we didn't know. Oh. <laughs> hey, it wasn't easy. Huh. Huh. We suffered. We suffered. Then the house mistress, one of my favorite house mistresses, she was like, Hey Michelle, I heard that you went to town to do this, this, this day. Why would you do that? Why would everybody everybody's asking me, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Now nah, I don't know what to tell anybody. So now I'm not laughing again. I'm just giving the teacher's attitude left and right. Like, why did you do that? I'm just like, Why did you do that? Why do... some woman because she even got me angry. You were there when I was explaining the story. You heard me perfectly well. You heard what we said to the administration. But you came to meet me outside and you're asking me why did I do that? And I asked her when I was saying it over there, didn't she hear? Ah, like you just want to ask me for me to know that, bitch. I know I fucked up. Who never fuck up, Hans Cindy? No Hans. Like you fucking know I fucked up already. You heard me saying the story of how I fucked up, and then you meet me outside and you want to ask me the story again, bitch. It's you, it's you, it's you, dumb, it's you, deaf. Really? Like, ah. no. Some people are really annoying. You were there when I was saying the whole story. You were there. You were seated over there. You were looking into my eyes. You were right under my nose. You heard everything I said, and you still saw me outside, and you are asking me what happened. It's your mother that happened. Seriously, it's your mother. It's your mother that happened. Hey, babe. Why? Hey, but I didn't see that. Hey, who will be like? Only there. Hey, you watch in there. Hey, who will be the move? Because our agent are here. Hey, but in some years, we are so obey the same thing. Now, obey be your band. The mouth be your far. On your face. Only there. Agent are here. Now, hey, be there. Me yadre, my friend. I'm about to tell you the truth. Me yadre. <laughs> okay guys so basically this is all that happened so after we're done with the work we promised ourselves that it's not that we'll not go again but we would never get caught so after our work like we missed a lot of classes we had to now try and catch up and all that and after that the day before we vacated we went again
We know the here one. We went again. This time it was Chris Love, a different person than I. I didn't mention her name because maybe her mother will watch this video. I don't want her mother to catch it. Chris Love, another girl and myself, we went again. That was not the end. We went again. And again. And again. But then on the last one, they caught them. I wasn't part of that one. <laughs> that day, ah, that day I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to go. Because like right now, my parents have become so close to the administration. So I'll be there now. Then maybe the house mistress is looking for me to give me food. This one is looking for me to give me money for my father. This one is looking for me. So it was really difficult for me to like disappear from the school because obviously somebody is going to look for me okay somebody's obviously going to look for me so i need to be present at all times so i was like oh i'm not going to go but i don't think it's a good idea so they shouldn't go oh they will go they will go they will go. when i watch one they caught them red-handed red-handed i mean i wasn't happy when they caught them when they caught them now i i started calling them to get back to the school because they've been caught but even they coming back they still caught them so it was actually pointless but yeah, so that's my story. I hope you really enjoyed my story time. I know I'm so good at telling stories. So if you love my story time, make sure you comment so I bring you more story times. And the next story time I'm going to do is my first kiss. Let me just give you guys like a sneak peek. My first kiss was in SHS3. I got to school at 4 a.m. in the dark. They pushed me against the cupboard. Bye, guys. Get ready for this video. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe if you're new here. Hi, my name is Michelle and I love, love, love you so much. And I hope you stick to my channel because I'll be bringing you amazing content, entertaining stuff, fun news. Okay, I don't know. But yeah, you get it. So yeah, thank you. If you're old here, thank you for always supporting me. I love you to the moon and back. Bye, babes. Mwah!